Okay, guys, this title is probably going to get some uh, clicks from clock fans, but uh, this is a reselling channel. <clears throat> I just figured I'd show these clocks because uh, I picked them up a few weeks back in a big purchase um, that I made. I filled my truck up basically for 80 bucks. It was a steal. I got so much stuff. The guy, the guy just wanted it all gone. I'll be going through that and showing you guys what else I got. But I did get these clocks. Uh, this one is the one I'm working on now. Or I just got done working with. It wasn't working quite right, but I fixed it. The mechanism back here is pretty intricate. But it's finally working right. So it's supposed to just do, do go once at the half hour. And then, so this one should be five next time I come around. Seems to be working great. So, finally got this one done. Oops. And ready for uh, ready for sale. And it's a um, Gustav Gustav Becker GB from I think like 1900s 1910s. It's pretty old. It's really cool. Um, still not even sure what it's worth. I would imagine a couple hundred bucks at least. Uh, next, we're going to get into this one. I haven't even found out what it is yet. It's uh, that. So uh, that'll be next in the video. Hopefully it works. We'll see. But this is a nice clock. I, I almost want to keep it for some reason. I like it. I did get this one going too. It's a, a Jay Ungans. Also pretty old. But it's a really cool piece with like finial work on the case. It's like three feet tall. Sounds pretty cool too. I might just try to sell these locally. I don't really want to have to pack this up. But we'll see. Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I forget if I showed you <clears throat> after I got these clocks working. Took a little finagling, but finally got this one done. And uh, I'm gonna just try to flip it locally. We'll see how that goes. Then there is this one. Okay, this one here, my wife and I might actually keep. We kind of like it. It's super old. I still haven't found the exact date on it, but I want to say like 1910. I'm not a clock guy though, so still got to research it more. We'll see. Just got to clean it up, but it's working really good. Um, like I said, I got the key. Holds time, great. So, kind of like it. Might hold on to it, I don't know. While we're here, I'll show you this vase I made for my wife. Do some woodworking sometimes. And uh, I made this wine bottle vase for her one year. It's a bunch of little pieces of wood. There's walnut, mahogany, and maple. It's pretty cool. Anyhow, I'll uh, show you some more finds that I got yard sailing. All right, so here's a couple more things. These are good to pick up if they're in good condition, which uh, this one is. 
and it's got the filter back here, these Coleman lanterns. The filter comes out, and that's how you fill uh, the gas. And so this one is from 1979, and it's got the original clamshell. You know, at $5, I'm not going to pass that up. I'll take it. And it's a random little Volkswagen uh, owner's manual from 64. Oh, Polaroids, you don't know about those. Uh, if you can get them cheap, they're always a, always a solid buy. Got a handy cam here. Sony handy cam. Decent little model. And a Sanyo tape player. AM FM radio. Excellent working condition. Uh, an older Sony camera. I, you know, if you can get these things super dirt cheap, it's worth it. Um, this one I think I paid two bucks for. And hopefully I get like 30, 25, something like that. Well, it is actually already sold. It's a Kennedy, uh, metal Kennedy um, toolbox. It's an old local pickup. Somebody's going to come grab it. So, pretty cool. These, will, these usually sell well if you can get them cheap enough. A couple more from this weekend. This one was uh, just a, a dog door, which something normally of this size I would stay away from just because it's bulky. But uh, it, was marked, it was marked 20 on the other side there, and I got it for 10. And it's in such good condition is why I got it. So I should be able to flip that locally for, I don't know, uh, 40, 50 bucks maybe. We'll see. And then... Uh, couple other things here from that big lot with the clocks I got this sewing machine it's in really kind of rough condition but uh, it's a Burnett 234 I'll get a few bucks for that thing then I paid 10 for this literally brand new Harman Kardon CD player um, it's still in plastic it's it's never been hooked up or used it's complete remote and cables are in there so that I'm hoping for at least a hundred bucks on that but we'll see. Anyways, uh, that's been it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, much appreciated. And we'll talk to you next time.